Hi there and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've last been here. Um, big old long story why I haven't and it's not even that interesting. Um, but, you know, we're, I'm here now. I'm going to switch the light on so I've got a better view because it's quite late in the evening here tonight. And I'm going to be using this paper. I did start to make a video, cut it all up and then made a massive mistake, which I was really cross about so I've already cut this up but this is masterfully made well it's one of those um, paper from masterfully made and it, it's just lovely it's just really really lovely we've just got some writing going along here and some lines and these beautiful flowers it's green we've got that berry burst um, we've got some white in there uh, pretty peacocks there so really lovely colours but to be honest this card it doesn't really matter what paper you use with it as long as you layer it with your favourite colours and your favourite papers however you want to do it this is just an idea. Um, it's an offset gatefold card which um, I happened to come across on the internet and it's Elaine's creations that first drew me to this. I don't know if it was her original idea but I saw her make it and I just had to have a go of it myself. So I'll show you what I've done because this is really what I did earlier and I'm really annoyed at myself because the video went wrong. I started off with a piece of card. This is Knight of Navy and this measures 10 inches by 7 inches. And I've scored at 3.5 inches and 8.5 inches on the long side and then I folded those in. There's our offset gatefold. And then we've got some layers of card. So for the middle, which I'll decorate later, um, I've got a piece of card there that measures four and three quarters by six and three quarters. I'm not decorating these bits. You could if you wanted to. Um, I did think about perhaps putting some. That's quite nice on there. We could have bits of that. Um, might do that in a moment. Um, and then the front of this. I'm layering with some basic white card like that and I'm going to stick it all together in a moment and hope that my glue works. Hopefully you can't hear my husband shouting at the television because the football's on and then we've got another strip of card there. So this measures, <clears throat> excuse me, three and three eighths by six and seven eighths and this is one and three eighths by six and seven eighths, excuse the ink that I've splodged on my hand. So that's going to go on there like that. And then I've cut out two pieces of this, making sure that they were from a whole piece. So this piece measures three and a quarter by six and three quarters. And then this piece is one and a quarter by six and three quarters. And we're just going to stick all of that together. But what I'll do first is decorate the inside. And I'm going to start off, I think, with some flowers in Berry Burst. When I first became a Stamping Up demonstrator, um, Berry Burst was just out. I think it was an in colour at the time. Um, and it was, you know, I really liked it. But uh, then it left pretty much as soon as, um, you know, not long after I joined. So I think I'm going to take a flower from here. And I think I'm going to take this one. It's a bit of a kind of a washed out flower. I don't want a big flower because I don't have big flowers in here. That's just my choice. There are no rules in craft as far as I'm concerned. Do what you absolutely like. There's my little flower there. And I'm going to pop that on a little block. And what I'm going to do, because I haven't stamped with this before, I'm just going to get a little bit of scrap card there just to test it out. And see if we need first or second generation stamp. So we've got that one there. Oh, which is quite nice. And if I stamp it again, no, that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do, because this, I think this is berry burst in there. Might not be, I don't know. Perhaps it isn't. I don't mind. Um, I'll stamp it in whatever I like. So I'm going to put a flower in the corner there. And I'm going to put a flower in the corner there, like that. And that's that's just all I'm going to do with that. 
um, you could decorate it more if you like sometimes what I like to do and I'm not going to do it today but I do sometimes do it is I get a strip a narrow strip of designer series paper and just run it down the side that's another quite nice thing to do so that's the inside of my card and I want a birthday sentiment in here and I've got this one from Charming Sentiments called Wishing You the Happiest of Birthdays. And I got one of them blocks. This has been used such a lot, this stamp. <laughs> such a lot. Really stained. Put that on there. And I'm going to stamp this in Misty Moonlight. I've missed Misty Moonlight. It was probably my most favourite blue even more favourite than Night of Navy. And then I'm just going to line this up in the middle. That's not the best stamp, but I'm going to keep it like that for now. Or am I? No. Why has that gone splodgy? That's disappointing, which means we're going to do it again. Press too hard. I'm not starting this video again. I'm not doing it for a third time. Let's just test that on a bit of... No, it's con splodgy. So I think probably what I'm going to have to do... It's never done that before. Perhaps it just... Perhaps I've got a juicy ink pad. Yeah, I think I might have a juicy ink pad. So let's ditch that stamp. There's always a plan B. And I'm going to go in with this one. Wishing you everything wonderful. It wasn't quite what I wanted, but I'm not starting again. So I just want to grab another block, a slightly bigger one, that will fit this sentiment. And again, this is another one I've used quite a lot. And it's a big sentiment, so it goes quite well on a big piece of card. And I think I'm just going to be safe and get my Night of Navy out. I think that Misty Moonlight might be a bit on the juicy side and uh, might need to be used more before I get to sentiments. does that sometimes. So let's put this in the middle here and I'll pop my flowers back on again. Lovely. That's worked. And then I'm going to get my Berry Burst back out again. And we'll stamp it again. That's why we don't stick this down first, in case little mishaps like that happen. I like that in the middle of a card. You know, stick a flower or a leaf on there somewhere. Just makes it a little bit more interesting, as long as you leave enough room for somebody to write in there. Right, I'm going to put that over there for a moment, just while that dries off. And then I'm going to... Uh, load up these panels. Now the other thing I'm going to do is let's get that out. Let's check this is the right size. I think it is. Yes. So with the other side of this let's get this in shot. I'm going to do these on the inside panels. I don't think it really matters what way this goes. So I want this to measure one and three eighths. By six and seven eighths. And these are just, oh, that's already done. And so these are going to go on the inside. So, and this one is going to be three and three eighths. And that's already six and seven eighths. So I've got all of my panels done. Now all I need is a glue that works. OK, so I found a glue that works. Let's start off with these panels first. You can use um, glue out of a dispenser if you want to. Um, when I'm when I'm layering panels, I do prefer liquid glue because I'm not particularly accurate. I 
I really envy people that can just put um, like, uh, I can't remember what it's called, a uh, stamp and seal or seal plus or something. And they just plop it on and it's central. I just can't do that. I like to have a little wiggle and make sure that it is absolutely central. And put some glue on this. Not tons of glue. I don't want it to ooze out the side. And we'll put that on there. So we'll just leave those to dry off a little bit and we'll start putting the inside together. So I'm going to put that there. I quite like that contrast of the green against the blue. And then it will really contrast against the white as well. So we'll layer that up there. Now this card is part of a, it was a series that myself and my two very lovely crafty friends were doing, Vicky Lou Designs and Crafty Karen Designs. And um, we tried to do a fun fold Friday once a week and it, it just didn't happen after a while. Um, we just found that other commitments were getting in the way. So we're trying to revive it. So I wanted to make something that I'd never made before. And that's why I'm doing this offset. So thank you to Elaine's Creations. If I can find a link for her, I'll put the link to her YouTube in the description bar. And let's pop that in the middle. Like that. Now, before I forget, what I would say is, is if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. You can leave me an emoji. You can just leave me one word. You can leave me lots of words. I don't mind. But it really helps my channel when I get that engagement on there. So um, if you have liked this, I really would love some engagement from you. I'd love to know what craft you do. If you're a if you're a new subscriber or if you've been watching me for a while, I'll know if you've been watching me for a while because I see all of those regular names coming up. It's so nice to see. So then I'm going to put those panels on here like that and I cut it in such a way so that the picture continues, the, the, um, the design continues. Not that you can really see it with this, but if you're doing it with a bigger print and it's nice to have that I call it a diptych or in the past I've made triptychs that's where you have two panels or three panels that's kind of separated that makes sense now I've punched this out using this punch the name of which I can't remember. It's not very good, is it? Um, and I'm going to put that there. Now, I don't really quite like that um, that stark whiteness on there. Um, and I could have used perhaps a different colour card, but I didn't. I kept it as it was. So just to break that up, I'm going to get a sponge dauber. These are really handy for doing things like this. Now, the first thing we're going to do is stamp this. And the stamp that I wanted to put in there and I think this fits, is the best wishes in layering leaves. So it's this. And I think this card can be used for anything. It doesn't have to be a birthday. It doesn't have to be, um, it's just got best wishes and wishing you everything wonderful. That could be for anything. So that fits quite nicely in there. So I'm going to get that on my block. And for those of you that stick with me right to the end of my videos, I really can't tell you how grateful I am with, for that. Um, you know, I don't I don't always like to make short, quick videos. You know, some people do actually want to see the detail. Um, so 
Thank you if you stick with me to the end. Right, hopefully this will stamp nicely. It's the first time I've used it. Hopefully it's straight and I won't splodge. It's not bad, it's not bad. I think that's just the ink that's a bit new. So I'm gonna pick that up very carefully and I'm going to get my sponge dauber and I'm gonna dip it gently into the ink pad. And then I'm just going to scrape that on the sides or on the edge of that card. And what it does, it just breaks that white up a bit. It makes it less, less, I don't know, stark, less pronounced. It gives it a bit of an antique -y finish as well, which I quite like. That gives now a completely different effect. I'm going to put that just up there. And I'm going to stick that down with some mini stamping dimensionals. Those of you that watch me regularly know that I love these things. finished with this all I want to do now is put some ribbon on this card let's just get the backing off these and I've got to get it finished because I've got to go outside and water my plants it's been quite warm today and there is just a little bit of light left outside so let's get this finished so let's put our best wishes sentiment up the top there and you could put some embellishments on there if you wanted to. I'm going to finish this card off with some ribbon. And what I'm going to do is just put this panel on the back, which is actually not the right size. That's, that's clever. Let's just trim this down. So this is about one and a quarter inches, which doesn't matter. Um, and the width of it needs to be five and three quarters or uh, not five. Sorry, not five and three quarters. I'm doing four and seven eighths. Now, I have some ribbon somewhere. There we are. So I've got this ribbon here and I'm going to put one there and one there and it's going to wrap all the way around. But before I do that, I'm just going to put some glue onto this strip of card. And then Oops, there we are. And then I just make sure that sticks down. Now I'm going to leave a link, to, well I'm just waiting for this to stick, I'm going to leave a link to my shop in the description bar and if you live in the UK, Ireland, Belgium, France, Germany, Austria or Holland, you can come and shop with me and all you need to do is if, depending on what country you live in, just um, click on the flag icon and then you can go to your particular country catalogue so that you've got everything at the right price. So let's turn that round and then what I'm going to do is just tie this into a bow. Now again, those of you that know me know that I don't do very good bows. I'm going to give it a go, but probably what I would do off camera is just fiddle about with it a little bit to make it look nice. I kind of feel the pressure on now because the camera's rolling. It's not going to go. It's not going to go. I'm going to have one more go. But I'm just now, you might sense it, I'm just now starting to panic that I can't tie a bow when I've got the camera rolling. I bet you're all far better at bows than me. Why did I pick a project with a bow on it? There we are. That's pretty rubbish, isn't it? But I would have a bit of a play about with that <laughs> before I sent it. But... I think you kind of get the drift of that. So that is an offset gatefold card using, I've forgotten what it's called again, masterfully made designer series paper with basic white card. 
Knight of Navy cardstock. And we've got Berry Burst, uh, Knight of Navy ink, Berry Burst ink. And we use the Layering Leaves stamp set. And I also used the Charming Sentiment stamp set as well. So I hope that you like this. If you did, please give me a subscription if you don't already subscribe um, and hit the thumbs up and if and leave me a comment. I would really love that. It'd be lovely to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me and I'll be back again soon. Bye bye.